G'day everyone. There are literally thousands of mods out there for a set of Corsa these days. But how many would you count as must-have mods? Well the mod I'm going to discuss today here is definitely in my top 10 essential mods for a set of Corsa. If you're into modern Formula 1 racing then you need the Rare mod, which stands for Rules and Race Enhancements. Without this mod, a set of Corsa is unplayable in single player mode with DRS wing cars because the AI just opens their DRS wings at every DRS zone around the track on every lap, making DRS pretty much a joke. The Rare mod fixes this AI problem and then a whole lot more. Rare makes the AI cars follow the current Formula 1 DRS rules where you can't activate your DRS wing in a race unless you are within one second of another car. So let's look at it in game in a bit more detail. First we'll load up the Baku 2019 track with a Baku 2021 skin. If we get in our car ready to drive, you'll find three FIA icons on the side. The first is to enable the rare mod, so we'll click it here. The next is rare settings, and the third is rare debug mode. The settings and debug don't do anything until you're in a race session. Uh, we're in a full race weekend right now, and in a practice session at the moment. So we'll look at that later. So in your car setup screen, you'll find the rules and race enhancement button over here. Click it to make it green and this will restart your session with a new rare mod version of your track. Uh, you can see at the bottom of my loading screen here that the track is now called Baku F1 2021 Rare. Uh, don't worry, it doesn't overwrite your original version of the track. Now the button is green, so it's all systems go. Uh, the rules and AI settings don't apply until we get to the race session. So we'll skip practice, and we'll skip qualifying. And here we are just before the race, and you can see now the settings can be changed. The DRS rules are now enabled. Uh, you can choose which lap of the race a DRS is enabled. Uh, we'll keep it at lap 3 like in real Formula 1. Uh, you can change the gap delta. We'll leave that at 1 second to keep it authentic. Uh, you can make it disable DRS when the track is wet like in real life. You can enable race refueling during the race. Uh, we'll keep that disabled right now. You can restrict tyre compound choice and colour code them white for hard, yellow for medium and red for soft tyres, just like in real F1 as well. So the, F, so the, uh, the AI will follow all these rules. In the, in the AI tab we have alternate AI strength enabled. When racing against AI on a lower difficulty setting, uh, a new formula allows AI to be still on full throttle when driving on straights. Uh, this allows for more realistic AI at lower difficulties. I'm not sure what the relative AI scaling does, but it's disabled by default anyway. In the tyre section, we can make AI pit for tyres by setting a tyre wear threshold. To demonstrate how the rare mod works, we're going to do a 10 lap race at Baku, Azerbaijan. Uh, we'll make the AI obey the DRS rules and every car is to make a mandatory pit stop during the race. So for the pit below average tyre life, we'll set it to around 92% with the variability of 2% and the pit below single tyre life will set it around 85% with a variability of 2% as well. Uh, if you want to do longer races then you should keep it more like average tyre life 60% and single tyre life 
Here you can fill the AI car's fuel tanks so they won't make stupid refueling stops during the race. In the audio tab you can adjust the audible beep uh, you get in your ear when DRS is available and the actual DRS flap opening sound. We'll keep the UI settings uh, default. Even if you aren't using DRS winged cars, uh, this mod is still very useful for all types of racing. Just one extra thing before we start. I'll be using an awesome Lotus skin created by the JQKA over at Race Department. They made a range of classic throwback Lotus skins for the RSS Formula Hybrid 2022 cars and I just had to use the classic green and yellow paint job for my team uh, on this video. I'll include a link to his Lotus skins in the description below. Okay, the rear green light is on. 18th. Okay, Parker, nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Yeah, thanks, Jim. Yeah, we're starting 18th on the grid here. Lights are on. Here we go. That's a, that's a good start already. We're up to 15th. If we didn't have the rare mod here, uh, the AI cars would be using the DRS already. Let's see if these two ahead can stay out of their side pods. Albon yields to Piastri. Looks nice and orderly so far. Okay, let's get some ERS power here. And through the second DRS zone up here, the AI still won't be able to use DRS. And the room on the inside will go for the outside. Okay, and we're past Piastri, up to 14th. Still no DRS along here. It's only lap 2, lap 3 we should get some DRS. Whoops, got on the loud pedal a bit too hard there. Okay, so we should have DRS enabled for next lap. We'll get on the ERS here, otherwise we'll fall behind. Leaders just begun lap three, so now we have DRS on. 
this rare mod really makes modern F1 in a set of Corsa so worthwhile. Looks like Albon is getting held up by the house. Can we get DRS? Yep. DRS as well. Can we get Albon? Uh, no. Albon wants to argue over 13th. It does seem to be moving up with the field up the field with me though. Looks like we're going to have a DRS train when we get back around to the pit straight. I get DRS from Albon. Albon's got, Albon's got DRS from the house. And we've both swallowed up the house. Okay, I four now. Albon still doesn't want to give it up. I've got no DRS this time. Al Albon must have got me. We'll chew up some more ERS instead. In 13th now. Let's see if we can finish up in the, in the top 10. at the end of lap five but we should get should start to see a few cars pit this lap for tires but the rear, rear mod has made it so they don't have to pit for fuel We've got fuel full tanks so there should be quick stops This shot will show the DRS zone and uh, the AI uh, seem to be following the, the, uh, the rules. Uh, Alonso in the lead had no DRS at all. Piastri had no DRS. I had DRS. The Haas has no DRS. Alpha Terry had no DRS. Yeah, working well. So they're all behaving themselves. This is so much better. Now it feels like proper F1. Okay, but now you're just annoying me. He had DRS again, and I didn't. Alright, lap 5 now. P12 still stuck behind Albon. Okay, we'll pit this lap. We'll try to undercut Albon if he doesn't pit us as well. Yeah, thanks, Jim.
And here we have pit lane cam. Let's see how many pit for tyres. Alonso stays out. Two Red Bulls stay out. One of the Ferraris looks like they're in. Oh, here they all come. Okay, our time to stop as well. And I've overshot the pit box and... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, messed up the, the selection for the tyres as well. That's going to cost us probably three seconds at least. Right, back on track, 19th now. But a whole bunch of them should pit at the end of the next lap. Looks like Piastri got ahead of me again. This whole experience is so much more immersive now that the AI are behaving properly. This is why the rare mod is so good. This is the sort of race to demonstrate how it all works, but uh, the longer Grand Prix would be even more awesome than this. With this mod. You'll have a set of courses, great car physics and the AI will finally be be a challenge and behave like modern F1 cars. I just can't play a set of Corsa without this mod anymore. Okay, Alonso. He's going to pit. Yep, he's uh, he's in the pit, and the rest of them are in the pits as well. Looks like a few more are still staying out. I guess they'll pit next lap. And here comes Piastri and us. We'll be coming up soon. There we go. Oh, the big P16 now. That's a Haas ahead of us. It must be Hulkenberg. Yep, it's Hulkenberg. All right, DRS and ERS time. Can't quite get in there. Also, the wreck mods creator Sh uh, Schmorlick is continuously working on the mod to make it even better. Uh, with more features. They want to add online functionality. At the moment it only works offline. In the future AI cars will stay in slipstreams longer. They'll stop being derpy and avoid stopped cars on the track. That's an LP. I'll take P15 thank you. To finish what I was saying, uh, the the rare mod will have the ability to retire drivers. Uh, you'll be able to start races with the same with the same fuel as the AI when fuel is enabled. Fuel fuel is enabled. Yeah, thanks, Jim. And they want to make AI tune. All right, Jim. I want to make AI tune their MGKs and brake balance on the fly like in real life. Alright, DRS here. Let's see if we can get the house. Alright, nice, got him. Alright. P. P11 now. DRS again. Jam on the ERS button again. Yeah, Schmolik, even if he doesn't get anything more done on this mod um, from here, he's a champion. He's a champ. Awesome stuff. But the rest of the cars should have pitted this lap just gone by. The captain, Pastor 
Uh, so I've fallen behind Piastri because, yeah, that... Oh, here we go. Ah, shit. Shit. Stupid Ferrari. Oh. That's Leclerc. I think that was Leclerc. He's off for the, uh... To take the motor scooter of shame back to the pits once more. Uh, two laps to go. Uh, let's see if we can get past Bottas at the end of this straight when he rejoins the track after his pit. No DRS this time. I can rely on ERS power right now to try and catch up to Piastri. Okay, one lap to go after this lap. <laughs> What's that, Jim? Pastorato? It's Piastri, mate. What if I could just call you Jumbo instead of Jim? Unreal. Alright, got DRS. Well, we didn't see Bottas, means us and Pastorato are uh, contesting for the last points position here. This is exactly what we need. DRS again, mashing the ERS button again. Just using the ERS everywhere I can right now. Alright, looks like pitch straight, we've got one last shot to get in. Only got a little bit of ERS left. That should be enough though. Alright, mash that ERS button. Past him already. Oh no, I didn't get DRS. Go, 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 go. I think he got DRS. He did. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Pastorato for P10. Yeah, he would have got the, uh, the detection line. I was already past him. Ah well. Nice battle, Pastorato. 
So that was a demonstration of the awesome Assetto Corsa Rules and Race Enhancements mod. It really is a must-have mod if you enjoy modern Formula 1 in Assetto Corsa. The mod's creator, Schmorlick, has obviously worked hard on the rare mod, so go check him out over at Race Department. As always, I'll put a link to the rare mod, the JKQA's Lotus Skins, and I'll link the other usual mods down in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Have yourselves a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers everyone!